the scoop on March Madness? We've got it in plain English, from Alabama to Xavier, or if you prefer, by the numbers. AC, Deuce, Trey, Trice, and Jones the Third, to name a few. It's about lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Not to mention a bird, a crab, and a couple of lambs. You'll see brotherly love with Plumleys, Pressies, and Bartons, and brotherly conflict, Zellers, and Relifers. Somebody is sure to make a splash in a pool, brooks, or a rivers. Maybe the Thames. Just remember, it's a little cooly. Be careful not to freeze. The tourney will harken back to TV favorites of yesteryear, Jefferson, Cosby, Quincy, Walton, Brady, even Casper. It will be fashionable, whether you're into cashmere, something lacy, or the more preppy Cadogan, which is available in white, blue, black, green, brown, or Redford. There will be men of wood and steel, walkers and racers, a tailor, a porter, a painter, a gardener, a glover, and a waiters who may or may not remember to hold the mayo. Think religion and basketball don't mix? Your pastor might beg to differ, as might Pope, Angel, Elijah, and Christmas. Or if you prefer, a Festus for the rest of us. Either way, you just gotta have Haith. So whether you're a man, a kid Gilchrist, or just young at heart, no matter where you're coming from, north, west, southwell, or the Sutherland, or how you get here, by truck or boat ride, make a beeline for the TV, because this big dance should be a real page turner. We promise to keep it mellow, always fair, and hey, before it's all over, we might even find Waldo. Enjoy March Madness.